Hey, welcome back everybody. Liberty Through Arms here. This is Mark. And I have the... I have a new addition to my rifle, the Air 15 from Smith & Wesson. Um, this stock is from Troy Industries. I know a lot of people have heard about some controversy with that company, but they make good products. And, you know, you can't really fault them for having some innovative designs that uh, I kind of dig. I really am amazed that more people haven't done reviews on this stock. There's uh, the Haas USMC did one, and I think um, a few others, but it's hard. It's not like right. It's not like you, it's easy to find a lot of them because there's not that many. So I kind of wanted to do a review on it, just my initial impressions. I haven't um, field tested it yet. So I'm going to just, you know, let you guys know, like a first impression, just installing it. So it has six positions like the, the uh, traditional stock that comes with your rifle. But the mag... I think ATI makes a stock that's sort of like this, but it's a little different. And it has this open handle thing. And they're, like, unlike Magpul, Magpul has a void. A void. And it's like an open, it's like a frame, but it, there's, there's still a void in there. And it's not like this might catch, but something might go through that void. Well, this thing just, you know, has the, this lever that sticks out too much. And, I mean... Look at this. 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 Versus this. What would you rather have? I know people, I'm a fat fan of Magpul because I have this Myad grip. And I have uh, the forward grip on, in black. Uh, that I want to replace with Flat Dark Earth because it's, it would kind of round out the, the, uh, the color scheme. And it's good because I like, like, I go to the desert, and especially in the summer, this thing won't heat up as much as this. And this is where you put your cheek, this is where you grip. I'm not a fan of gripping, gripping the mag well like some people do, and the more black your hands come in contact with, or your body, it's just going to... It just is hotter. So I like the flat dark earth color. Again, the Troy has has um, a lot of, a few cool features. It came with this quick disconnect. I want to get like two or three more of these because I'm going to build another rifle and all that. But I like two positions because I have the room. I have six different positions on the quad rail three on each side that I can put a, a sling mount, quick disconnect, sweet, it, you don't need anything else but this, slides right in the hole, no pun intended, so, and you have three different spots where you can put these mounts, there's, I'm a left handed shooter so I'll put it on this side with my uh, single point sling that's on the ground and it's hard to reach right now, and uh, then you have on the opposite side the same same exact spot just on the other side of it and then you have this spot on the bottom where you know you can and then you can put it in different angles so it'll move only so it's pretty cool and uh there's also one, you know, the storage compartment. This is a big, I didn't really buy this stock because I bought this stock because I like the design. But the uh, storage is just one added feature. So, what you got here, let me move the camera back a little. Um, what you got here is a, is a thick, pretty strong metal butt plate. I kind of wish you could buy um, 
maybe for like a reasonable price, like 25 bucks or 30 bucks, like a replacement rubber pad for this. They might in the future do that, I don't know. But it's cool, I mean, it's hard. This, you might need a key for it, but if you got, you know, the power to undo that by yourself, that's cool. Um, but it's good storage. I mean, if you look in there, it goes, it's hard. I don't have a flashlight. Sorry about that. But it's decent storage if you, you know, look on the dimensions on the outside. Troy has a version of this that's way more expensive and on this side it would have a GPS monitor. I think that's, that's cool if you want to spend the money, but this thing was, I didn't get it from Troy, I got it from um, an eBay reseller that I just kind of look at ones that have a good track record. And I bought it for $111 shipped. And I think that's from the Midwest. It could have been from the East Coast, but I think it was somewhere East Coast, Midwest area. You know, like it could have been shit. It could have been Pennsylvania or Michigan. I'm not sure. But it came, it, it took a while to come, but it was free shipping. So on the website, it's about $130. I think, or 120 I'm not sure. But I saved about 20 bucks and free shipping and stuff, so. Um, it's a really good stock. Just, just gripping it and feeling it and shouldering it. It's, it feels. I, I'll, I usually put it out like this. Hold the rifle like that. Charge it. I know I shouldn't do that. But I wanted to... Usually you should... I don't like to slam it home. I mean, I guess you can do it a number of times and it's fine, but it just seems like it's too much metal slamming. But uh, yeah, the stock, usually I'll put it like that position. And it's pretty sweet like that. But it goes out to that. So, anyways, I hope, I hope this review on the Troy Battle Axe stock was uh, informative. This is not really a field test, I don't. But uh, in the future, I'll try to get some video. Again, um, the Troy Battle Axe is just. Should be, you know, I would think should be purchased by more people and should be in more videos. But my initial impression is pure awesome design. And it doesn't wiggle. I mean, I, I'll, I'll put it like that. It's a tight, it's a tight fit. It's not like it's loose. It doesn't feel loose. It might like, it's not like, who needs something that's like, perfectly tight. It doesn't bother me at all. Like, it doesn't bother me shouldering this and having that little tiny bit of play. You don't need things to be super tight and, you know, the tolerance is on the AK-47 just on a lot of different aspects of it. The looseness of it making, the loose tolerances, you know, make it so it's reliable. So, thanks for watching. Um, this has been a review of the Troy Battle Axe stock. Just badass stock for the AR-15. And I hope um, somebody can take, you know, some, some sort of, uh, you know, good, good uh, information from this. Again, you, it's kind of hard to open the back, but you can, you can do it with a key or something too, so... Uh, thanks for watching. This has been uh, Liberty Through Arms. This is Mark, and have a great day. Thanks.